Hmm. I don't, I don't know, man. Are you sure that's how? Oh, hi. <laughs> Today we're going to show you how computer chips work. Pull one out, dip it in some salsa, and take a bite. How do computer chips work? Well, it's quite complicated. Computer chips work by allowing uh, millions, hundreds of millions of processes to work within the central processing unit per second. Now look, it's not quite that easy, but it's not quite that complicated either. All right, now look, of course you don't want to put salsa on them. So let's talk a little bit about how computer chips work. Now to do that, we don't even really need this stuff. Let's talk about the chips themselves. Now for the computer chips to work, first they have to have something to work on. We take information out of the hard drive and it comes into the computer chips. Now some computer chips actually have things already stored on them, but most of the information comes to the memory chips. Now once the information comes from the hard drive, it comes right into this memory chip, which then constantly feeds it to the CPU. Information comes from the hard drive into the memory, goes to the processor, and then gets spit back out to the chips on the video card, finally ending up at the monitor or the printer or wherever else we send it. Bottom line, computer chips work once you supply electricity to them. Once you turn off the electricity, all the information goes away. Therefore, make sure you save, 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 because everything you save on your hard drive will stay. That's, my friends, how computer chips work. Now, don't forget, read the flipping manual. All right. Now, see us next time when you want to learn more about how computer chips work.